Attention, attention, stop what you're doing. Because we're coming back to the Hal Sparks radio program, Mega Worldwide. Oh my God. They went a little crazy with it, and I appreciate it. Now let's get back with Hal Sparks radio program, Mega Worldwide. Welcome back to the show. So um, I got censored on uh, Truth Social uh, on Thursday. During what, the, what happens when you get censored? Oh, during censored the, on Truth Social. Well, I mean, some count, some accounts get just get banned outright. Some of you get, you know, they they do suspend and ban accounts in total. Again, peaking the irony meter. Um, that Truth Social is like we're all about free speech and so, censorship and cancel culture, right? All that nonsense. And then they're, right. you know, you can't speak ill of the president or they kick you to the curb. So I my tweet was marked as sensitive content, or my twerp, I'm sorry, it's not called a tweet on there, it's called a, a on Truth Social, you twerp and retwerp. And, um... I don't believe you. That's what I call it. You, 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 yeah. I mean, it's not, you're not truthing, that's obviously not the case. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, not twerk, with a P, twerp. You twerp or retwerp. Yeah. Twerking is it? That's a totally different site altogether. And honestly, I can't even. I, it, it's like drunk dialing because you can't see the screen. So when you're when you're when you're twerking on on twerksocial.com. So I tweeted right. I yeah. So I posted pictures uh, that uh, of January six. You know things that occurred. One of them primarily being, of course, the the beating of uh, one of the police officers where he was unconscious and on the steps and they were just backing away from him right before they were about to strike him again, face down on, on the concrete. And then another one of a woman standing on the gallows at, that the Trump supporters had uh, constructed using their fine woodworking skills and their, uh, their totally spontaneous, oh my God, we have exactly the amount of wood and screws necessary to create... A gallows. And you brought rope? Way to think ahead. Um, what are the odds? And there's a woman up there in a Trump flag draped around her, standing there waving because she's so proud to be standing on the MAGA. Like Antifa to me. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. They're, they're clearly BLM. Um, and uh, so I, I posted those pictures and um, yeah, nice work and a mile, what I would consider a mild pejorative uh which uh the combination of what buttocks and chapeau um put together okay so i i put those <laughs> together and apparently that was too much for the truths and i was uh i i was you know i, I was soft censored on there because sent you know there's it's a fa it's a family site um now if you want to post about like a diagram that you have uh, uh, using a series of photographs you've made of yourself about how to give yourself a hydroxychloroquine enema. Um, no problem. That's not that won't be sensitive. You could post that on True Social. But if you who's if you I guess if you just post proud pictures of Trump supporters, you're not allowed. Is that is that the case? Okay. So <laughs> then, um, obviously, watching the 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 Jan six hearing, and if you and if you watch them, I'm curious to hear from you in the chat room. We're live streaming at infotainmentwars.com, and of course at flank.com, f w a n q dot com, uh, which will take you to twitch.tv slash Al Sparks, where you can like and subscribe to the show. Yeah, I'm a I'm a pro streamer now. Do this almost every day, and um, and I you know, I even do the long form stuff. That's the, that's the interesting thing is that when I, one of the reasons I didn't live stream the Jan 6 committee hearing was A, because Midas Touch and the lovely guys at Midas Touch was doing it. And I didn't want to step on their toes while they did it. And also because once I start, I have to, I, I stop every sentence. I, I basically pause every time someone makes a point or that I want to comment on, or in the case right, right. of, of other stuff, uh, you know, the Lindell movies or any of that stuff I, after every lie, which makes a 45 minute Mike Lindell schlockumentary sometimes a six hour endeavor just because I am I'm live fact checking and backing it up with, you know, 
page after page of easily Googleable and, and stuff. A lot of stuff, even from right wing sources where they've called it crap. And and yes, thank you, Andrea. We're at 35,500 subscribers on Twitch now. I remember when this whole thing this live stream started, uh, we were we were we were hitting the glass ceiling of 5,000 subscribers, and it's just been yeah. lovely. So here we go. And um, I, I was looking at, you know, obviously on Truth Social, I was, uh, you know, I got an account a while back. It took me a while. I was on the waiting list. I guess I was not a priority candidate for Truth Social. Um, I, it might have been something in my bio. Or they might have set their, uh, you know, the bots on checking me out. And um, strangely enough, uh, the entire day, Trump basically didn't, tw he, he tweeted, no, he twerped something at like, you know, 10 a.m. or something the, on, Jan, uh, on, the, on the day of the Jan 6 committee hearing. And they didn't okay. say anything else for almost a day. Basically, the next day, then he started, you know, whinging and screaming about it. And apparently, the 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 biggest slam that came out of obviously he hates Bill Barr and obviously it's a sham and yada 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 and blah blah blah. But Ivanka comes on and says she agreed with uh, with with Bill Barr. She agreed with his assessment that there was no there there, that it was a bunch of uh, hooey. And I mean, granted, it might have been that even pretending to believe it, you would have to hang out with Rudy Giuliani more and Lynn Wood, um, who, you know, honestly, on on the creep graph, break the roof. And I, <laughs> both of them, I mean, Lynn Wood is now Elvising around the blue hairs in the South, giving these little porch speeches about baby eaters and how Michael Flynn's a, a, a not traitorous enough. And, and of course, Rudy Giuliani, on the day the committee had their hearing, got censured by the New York, I think it was the New York bar for his 2020 election lies. Because it was almost like somebody got reminded, like, oh, that's tonight. Oh, you know what? We should, we've had, this has been sent on my desk. You were supposed to file that last week. Ah, I'll get around to it. And then they were like, oh, crap, here it is. And an Ivanka statement just simply saying that she agreed with uh, Barr's assessment, which was tepid but obvious. Uh, Trump's response to his own daughter was that she had, quote, checked out. That at that point, she just given up. She, st she stopped magging, bro. She, she had checked out. You, how are it? I don't either. Uh, well, I, here's what I, I would say is that that's what happens when every relationship in your life is transactional. Yeah. A and she's even, no longer shilling for me. That's right. And even the ones who aren't will be. You know what I mean? Like even the ones that yeah. shouldn't be your children. Your, your blood relatives, the ones that you're supposed to always be able to count on, they're, they, they just get, they get bum rushed by the number of like hangers on fakers and ticks that you have in your life because you yourself are a tick and, and birds of a feather going to tick together. And, and that, I mean, it became a running joke that Trump referred to a lot of people in, in his cabinet or true believers if they were just mildly insufficiently loyal or they they just told the truth and it was a truth he was trying to hide. He would call them, you know, uh, pro uh, obviously uh, Democrats, if you think about it, was the quote. And then they they just got coffee, right? They were all Democratic, Democratic coffee boys. And now Ivanka finds herself in that realm. She and Jared both. And there will be more footage of both of them. Believe me. After seeing the, the reaction of, that Trump had, I guarantee that if they, had, if they had not already planned to use more of her testimony, a couple of beats are being added. Just count on it. Um, that, yeah, um, Dr. 13, our Trump in the chat is saying Trump's striking back is instinctual. He doesn't care if it's family. And that's, I mean, 
I don't know that he makes a distinction truly between family and and the rest of the people in his life. It, you know, they're all relationships are sort of meant to be purchased or in exchange for favors. It's just, and what a terrible way to live. Totally. You know what I mean? Like th that is, and, and I've said this many, many times, like Trump has no friends, none, nope. not a one. He's got business acquaintances that tell people they're friends with him when it suits them. And that is not friendship. No, that is that is you know the very that that is the opposite of friendship. That is that that's a dead exchange. Um, we have to take a break. When we come back, um, I responded to a Mike Pence tweet and it with some packages, and I would like to point them out when we come back because I think they're crucial to the current conversation. It's the House Sports Radio program, Mega Worldwide on WCPT. WCPT820.com is the website. We'll be back.